This video is brought to you by Train Signal, your home for IT training products. Train Signal, you are watching the Getting Started with Google Apps video series. And in this video, we're going to take a look at domain ownership verification for an existing domain. If you already have a domain or a web presence and would still like to use Google Apps with it for purposes of email and document sharing and things like that, we have to verify that we do actually own the domain. We can't just pull any domain that we so please into Google Apps. We have to actually own it. Otherwise, we're committing fraud. We have to specify and, and set, do a little configuration, and I'm going to walk you through that right now. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. In order to make sure that your existing domain plays well with Google in the sandbox, there are two critical tasks that must be completed in order to allow Google to work with the domain. Verification of ownership of the domain is the first, and that's what we're going to be covering in this video. Now, you also have to set up your email records as well but we're going to be covering that in the next video so let's take a look at the two options for domain ownership verification now the easiest option is basically creating a simple HTML document named Google hosted services HTML and then we copy and paste the code provided by Google during the configuration into that file we take that file we put it into the top level of our public directory and then we click on a verify button that tells Google to go verify the authority uh, that we have on the site by finding that crazy little file. Now, I need to tell you that this option may not work if your website it has a dynamic content management system running on top of it, especially ones that use HT access to process and render URLs. Examples like this are text pattern, Drupal, Joomla, Mambo, etc. But if this method doesn't work, you're going to need to use CNAME verification instead. And that's what we're going to be focusing in on in this particular tutorial. Uh, the CNAME record change, now the procedure is going to vary between domain providers. All you're going to do is you're going to add in a CNAME record that contains your super secret code word that Google will provide. Google will go to the DNS settings, it will verify that CNAME record that you've made at alterations, and then, and only then, will it activate services based on your domain. Now, just a couple of quick vocabulary words so you know uh, these, this alphabet soup that I'm talking about. A domain name server, or DNS, basically is a big directory that acts like a phone book for the Internet. All it does is it tells other computers where to find a particular resource. That's pretty much it. Now, a CNAME, or canonical name record, is a record in the DNS domain, domain name server database that tells and provides the name of a host and how to find it. That's it. All right, so we're looking at two very simple things here. Let's go ahead and jump right into this process so you can see that it's not hard. Um, so let's go ahead and jump on over into Google Apps. And where I'm actually uh, a little bit ahead of myself here, so let's take a step back. Now, as you can see, I'm already logged into uh, our Google Apps system for SASTrainingOnline.com. You'll notice up top here, it's telling, it, telling me to activate Google App Services, I have to verify that I actually own this domain, sastraining.com. If I don't own it, I can't use Google Apps with it because Google's not really interested in helping anyone commit fraud. So we're going to verify domain ownership. And here, it's going to allow us those two options. Either we can upload an HTML file. Let's just take a look at the instructions for that real quick. Uh, you just create a quickie little file. You name it Google Hosted Service HTML, and then all the only thing that has to go into it is this little code, and that's it. This is our Google secret code word here. And then once we have made the changes, make sure that we can see that file, and then we click on verify. Now that's a pretty easy methodology. Let's do one that's a little more challenging, especially if you're using a dynamic con, uh, con content management system on your site. Uh, when we uh, when we're having trouble with that upload methodology, we might need to go in and change the CNAME record on the domain on the DNS management page for our domain registrar. So it does vary depending upon who uh, who's actually registered your domain name, but typically you can find it under domain management. Um, and then here is our super secret uh, code word again. And then this is actually the only thing that we really need. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy and paste this real quick. And then I need to point the that particular record to Google.com. 
And then once I have made those changes uh, in the DNS, I can actually click on this link to verify that um, the record exists and then click on verify in order to force Google to go look at uh, that particular site and respect my authority on that particular system. Let's switch over to GoDaddy real quick. And here in GoDaddy, I'm going to log in in just a say uh, I'm going to log in and I'm going to actually make an alteration to that record. All right, I'm all logged in now and uh, in the total DNS control panel here for GoDaddy, uh, and I'll take it back just a step here. Uh, we go to the domain section. After you log in, normally you're dumped into this page if the, you only have one domain. And in GoDaddy, we're going to use the total DNS control and MX records section of it. Now we need to add a C name, so I'm going to go here to the C name section and click on Add a New C Name Record. At this point in time, I can go ahead and add in my alias name. Now, I copied that earlier, so I'm just going to go ahead and paste that in real quick. And it's going to, I'm going to have that little record point back to Google.com so that Google can verify that I actually do own this particular domain. Now, I'm going to scroll down and click on OK. And go ahead and add that record to. Oh, grand. All right, looks like I mistyped in when I copied the URL. Looks like it had some spaces on the dot, so I need to take out those spaces. Let's see if that doesn't fix it. I'll tell that guy OK and perfect. All right, so just had to make sure that there were no spaces in that C name alias that I created. So now that I've actually added the C name record to the DNS, now you notice here that it is saying uh, pending setup, so it may actually take a little bit of time for the DNS records all over the web, including on those on Google, to actually refresh and be able to recognize this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pause the video uh, for about an hour, uh, and I'm not going to make use of it here and wait with me for an hour. Uh, until I go, can go back and hit the, the verify button over here on Google Apps and force Google to respect my authority on this particular domain. So I'll be back as soon as um, the DNS uh, records have been verified. All right, taking a look at the screen as soon as I've clicked on the verify button, you'll notice that it says that we are checking domain ownership and this may take up to 48 hours to complete. But it's probably not going to take that long. But uh, just in case, you know, once again, we're going to pause the video and just make sure that you know, when we come back to the video, you'll actually see what the screen should look like, assuming that the domain ownership has been verified. All right, good news, everyone. Looks like we have completely and fully uh, been verified in terms of our domain name uh, ownership. So our start page is now ready to go. Looks like e our email settings are getting ready. Everything is good to go. Um, so as soon as the email settings are set up, our domain name has been verified, and now we have access to the full range of Google App services available for SASTrainingOnline.com. This video is brought to you by TrainSignal, network admin's number one choice for professional IT training, where you'll find videos on Microsoft, Cisco, Linux, CompTIA, and more. Come visit us today at www.trainsignal.com.